In their quest to find out where we came from, scientists have found an interesting link between modern humans and our cousins, the Neanderthals, who have been gone for a long time. Recent studies have shown that we have a key habit in common with these mysterious hominids. This sheds light on the complicated history of how we both evolved. Could it be a look into the thoughts and actions of these old beings who used to live on Earth with us? In this video, we will explore the interesting world of similarities between Neanderthals and humans and find out what they can tell us about our shared past. A 2020 study by Dr. Alessa Nava and other researchers from Italy and Germany found that Neanderthals and modern humans share a significant behavioral pattern. DNA research has provided information on Neanderthals' appearance and social system organization. The research focused on a sliver of land in the northeastern corner of Italy where petrified teeth were discovered. The teeth belonged to Neanderthals, and their chemicals and isotopes could provide fascinating insights into their lives. Three Neanderthal teeth were matched to another old tooth belonging to a human from the early Upper Paleolithic period. To analyze their growth rates and chemical compositions, researchers used a microscope to observe minute growth lines, allowing them to determine the ages of the teeth and the rates at which they grew. Etupanalysis is another primary component of tooth study. Archaeologists use iterative analysis to learn about the diet of ancient people, where they lived, and the types of relationships they had with individuals from other groups. Humans and Neanderthals share several genetic similarities, including the common ancestor that humans and Neanderthals shared approximately 50,000 years ago. This DNA mixing led to the existence of many modern humans with Neanderthal ancestors. Around half a million years ago, the two species became separated by geography, with humans developing in Africa, while Neanderthals evolved across Europe and Asia. Humans eventually traveled to the Eurasian continent, where they were reunited. Researchers have sequenced the DNA found in Neanderthal bones and cross-referenced it with the characteristics and diseases found in modern human populations. Skin was one area where they discovered commonalities between the two species. Although Neanderthals may have been of some assistance to humans over 50,000 years ago, the fact that we have harder skin may not have been the most significant benefit that we acquired from them. The genes for keratin, which are found in human skin, nails, and hair, often sit adjacent to Neanderthal genes. A 2016 study published in Science found an association between Neanderthal DNA and nicotine addiction. There is evidence that having Neanderthal DNA makes you more likely to be a smoker, but this is unlikely given that tobacco plants were not even grown in Europe and Asia at the time. A bone fragment known as Venda 3319 was discovered in Croatia, and its genome was used to sequence one of the genomes. Researchers investigated the history of the Vendiga gene in modern people and discovered a remarkable variety of correlations to arthritis, cholesterol levels, vitamin D eating disorders, body fat symptoms, schizophrenia symptoms, and responses to antipsychotic medication. There are also parallels between Neanderthals and humans in terms of their appearance, due to the genes that affect the color of their hair and skin. What remains unknown is how humans continued to thrive even as Neanderthals became extinct. Evidence suggests that early humans may have been a much more diverse species if they lived in larger social groups and traveled more, as there would have been more opportunity to swap genes along with goods and ideas. The study focuses on the early stages of life in Neanderthals and their diets, revealing similarities between humans and Neanderthals. Researchers conducted isotope analysis and other methods to understand the differences in the diets of the two populations. They found striking parallels between the milk teeth of humans and Neanderthals, indicating a significant connection between their early diets. The researchers found that Neanderthals moved from milk to solid food at around five to six months of age, similar to humans. This indicates that Neanderthals had energy needs, body types, and lifestyles that were similar to ours. Weaning is a common subject of academic inquiry, with questions about the duration, cultural differences, and effects on babies. Breastfeeding is typically the most effective method for meeting nutritional requirements, 
but formula may be more appropriate for infants. Formula can be prepared from cow's milk or from various types of milk, and it is processed to provide a balanced diet for infants. It usually takes around six months for a baby to reach the point where breast milk or an equivalent formula can no longer satisfy all of the baby's nutritional requirements. At this point, the baby is ready to begin the weaning process. The National Health Service recommends that until the infant is at least one year old, they should be fed a combination of breast milk and solid food. It is recommended by professionals that a newborn be exposed to a wide range of flavors and textures from an early age to reduce the likelihood of fussiness. Weaning a child from breast milk or formula at the age of six months is not only a cultural convention, but also for genuine physiological reasons related to the amount of energy required for human development. One co-author of the 2020 studies, Dr. Federico Lee from the University of Barcelona, discussed the high energy demand of the growing human brain compared to that of other primates. Another studies author, Dr. Stefano Benazzi, explained that human and Neanderthal babies may have had similar energy demands, suggesting that they would have had similar rates of growth. The research has broad implications for Neanderthal development, suggesting that Neanderthal babies may have been similar in size and growth. The study also suggests that Neanderthal society and how and where they lived, such as the levels of strontium and the Neanderthal teeth, Neanderthals likely lived in a specific area of northeast Italy with caves and plenty of food to eat, making it likely that they were careful in how they used their resources. While the weaning process is seemingly disregarded in the report, it provides valuable insights into Neanderthal society and the similarities between humans and Neanderthals. Each new piece of information we gain is not only an essential step toward understanding them, but also helps fill in the gaps in our own history as a species and provides us with additional insight into what it means to be human. This is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video.